What's going on YouTube? Ghost Anime 84 here. I'm at the Harley Davidson Waco dealership fixing a test ride with the street rod. <laughs> I've been looking forward to testing this baby out since I heard it was coming out. No, I like the street. It was pretty good. It was just not my bike. It's, it was too much like my old bike. <laughs> my first bike I ever had. I was like, yeah, done it. But this one was said to have more power and I like everything that they were talking about it was kind of okay i'm gonna be honest with you <laughs> because of the rod on there it kind of reminded me of my v-rod my v-rod had enough power so maybe this right here has the power plus i like how it looks the bar head mirrors look at that the setup is like normal street bikes it's not like it's not the har normal harley setup <laughs> the wheels are <laughs> you can see there's a quite a bit of clearance right here mid controls I love that and it's just an all-around nice looking bike <laughs> so we're gonna be maybe testing this out yep Woo. holy crap This thing is way lighter than my bike. Okay, this is taking some getting used to right here. <laughs> I'm used to my bike seat being so low. Feeling <laughs> a little squirrely on this. All right, let's get some used to. Ride my ride, ride my ride. Oh, there's a big gap in the uh, and the shifter peg. There's a lot of room for play right there, which is good when you got boots on. <sighs> Ooh, man. <laughs> I got a little... Man, I got squirrely at the beginning. <laughs> That's why you take your time. <laughs> this thing's light. A lot of vibration in the handlebars, but maybe I need to gear, gear up a little bit higher. That takes, really helps out. <laughs> I like these bar end mirrors. These bar end mirrors make it so easy to see. And that's the problem with my V-Rod and pretty much a, a lot of the Harleys for me is that my wide shoulders cover up the mirror. I'm pretty sure everybody got that problem. <laughs> I don't even use my mirrors, honestly, on my V-Rod. This, yeah, I know exactly where everybody's at. Everything's at. Man, this thing's light, golly. Or at least it feels light for me. <laughs> I don't know. I need to grab me, maybe if I test rode a Taylor R or something like that, an actual dual sport. And that's what I'm thinking about doing. I want to try to make this a dual sport. Yeah. Braking's a little bit weird. So let's try it. nice throttle oh man if I was a better rider I'm pretty sure I could flick this thing around so don't anybody don't don't get me wrong I am NOT the best of riders okay I just like I travel but I don't have I don't do that you know whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh man that's fun <laughs> like I was saying before I was wanting to try to make this into a dual sport it has such a high you know, there's a, there's a big old height on this thing between the ground and the clearance. It has good clearance. Okay? <laughs> there. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> oh, this is a fun ride. We'll get a, a little street bike. I can see this being on... It's street rod. Duh. <laughs> being around town. In the city. Oh, man. This thing would be perfect. Immensely perfect. I don't know, I would... Uh, I'm sure it could do like long distance riding, but I probably wouldn't recommend it. Well, who am I to say anything? I took a Sportster 883 on a ride from Texas to Grand Canyon, San Diego and back. 
so it's a, I'm pretty sure this can handle it. Plus, it's liquid cool. I think it's liquid cool. Yeah, yeah. Streets are liquid cool. Woo! Oh man, I'm getting to handle this thing now. Let's see what happens when I get a little bit more higher gear. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm on fifth gear, I think. Yeah, it's bogging down now. Wait. How many gears does this thing have? Have six? I don't know. <laughs> you guys should know. Do your research. I'll do my research later. <laughs> and we're turning. I don't want to wreck this thing because it's not my bike. Ugh. And I don't want my insurance to get screwed up, so I'm being extremely cautious. <laughs> I've had 10,000 bucks to lay down. <laughs> oh man, I recommend, I recommend definitely uh, test riding this thing, you might like it. The guy, I think the guy did say these things go like 8,500, 8,600, ain't that bad. Woo. Look at that, from pretty much like a dead stop. I can't do it. I'm not gonna do our thing with all that water. Whoa! Thing jerks you. Woo! That was fun. Get into neutral. Fine, get that way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where the heck is that stupid? Oh shit! That thing just flips right out. <laughs> my left leg is on that exhaust, and this little heat shield is doing its job. I'm not burning my leg. Uh -huh. I said the heat shield is doing its job. I'm not burning my leg. <laughs> Took me a little bit to get used to it at first, since I'm not used to being such a yeah. higher bike. It's, you know, my bike's real low to the ground. Mm -hmm. And this thing is way lighter than my bike. Yeah. And I'm over here like, you know, first, that first little took off, the wall, thing was like, I was like, okay. <laughs> it's getting, you know, that's why you got so far ahead. I was like, okay, let's not to get too squirrely until I get some, get a feel for it. <laughs> I think you get on it coming back up that way. Oh, no, no. It's not my bike. I'm not going to get on it too much. Oh, man, that ride was so awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take the sign off. I hope you all take a look at that bike and consider it. You know, Harley Davidson Street Rod 2017. Brand new. Just came out like a week or two ago. <laughs> Have a gander. Test ride it. You might be impressed. This is Ghost Anime 84 signing off. Have a nice day. Ride safe. I say right safe right when I pull my hands off the handlebars. Yeah. <laughs>